Hey, welcome back to a new video. My name is Ross and today we are going to look at the piano that's behind me. So a little while ago I made this house and I made the interior of this house and within this interior I made a cool piano. So if you go in and you go to the right then over here we have the same piano as you can see over there. And it's a really cool design and I just wanted to share it with you. So that's what we are going to do today. It will be a small video, but I will tell you how to build this piano. So for this piano design, we are going for the black piano, which uses these kind of items. So we need a nether of a wither skull. Uh, it's pretty hard to get if you uh, play in survival, but yeah, it's a wither skull. Uh, we have a iron bar. We have some carpet, some black carpet. We have the deep slate tile stair and the slab. We also need a lectern, of course a book and quill for on the lectern, we need a item frame and we also need a map. And a map is something that we really need because that's what shows the piano keys as you can see. So right away I want to say if you want to make this design that means you have to make one of these maps which is a big area but we will talk about that a little later so anyway let's just start with the design so this piano design is a four by four just so you know uh, so if you have a space for it then just keep in mind that it is four by four blocks so the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to use the deep slate tile stairs and what we're going to do is place one upside down like this then we will place a deep slate slab and a also a upside down stairs like this. So you get a little kind of bench. Then on this side of the first stair that we have placed, we are going to place a deep slate tile slab. And we place one, two, three and four. Then we take the stairs again and we place an upside down stairs over here facing that way. So like this, as you can see. Then we are taking the slabs again and then we leave these two blocks and we start from here. One, two and only one. So you have like a diagonal like this. So this is an upside down stair. Slab, slab and here slab and then you have the upside down stairs over here that we already placed. So that of course leaves this space which ob obviously is for the lectern so we can place them right away. Then on this side we need upside down stairs. So we place just one normal and then we can place one upside down. And then we place a full row of four of these stairs. So one, two, three, four on this side like this. So now you already start to see a little bit of the piano. Now for the stool or the seat that you can use is a wither skull. I just like to use that one because it's uh, small and it looks like a little bit of a kind of stool instead of a slab but you can also use a slab or you can use a, a stair if you like um, that's up to you but if you have a wither skull I honestly think that's the best one and it looks the best so we of course have a book and quill and we can place that one on these lecterns and you don't have to put anything into it it's just for an aesthetic it looks really cool so put two book and quills on here and that looks really cool then we are placing an iron bar on this upside down stair over here and then we are going to take the carpet and the carpet will be on these three blocks over here on these slabs then we will also place one within the lectern so if you like look at exactly that pixel of the carpet you can place one next to it as you can see so if you place two of them over here that means you can also place one on top, which we also will do. So we we'll place on all of these uh, carpets down here, also on top, one layer, and you will get this, and also on the iron bar. Now before you're going to shout in the comments that I made a mistake, yes I did, this stair should be gone. I accidentally <laughs> set four but you only have to place these three and this has to be open so yeah no stairs over here so now the hard part so if this is your first video that you're watching on my channel then you don't know about all the buildings that i've created in this flat world i make really cool buildings i actually make tutorial for you guys and i also have the world download for you so if, if this is your first video, consider to subscribe because it really helps me a lot and that way we can grow. And also, 
you won't miss out on the cool buildings that I'm making. But that's on this flat world and on this flat world I also made this. So this is what you see on this map. So I made a huge map and what I did was just fill it in with some blocks. And of course I'm in creative and I have world edit so I can easily make this. If you do this in survival it's probably a little harder to make. So, but just so you know if you want the best uh, looking piano I think it's the best to do this uh, with a map like this. So this is the smallest map uh, and it's still really big as you can see but yeah this is the smallest map. If you want to make this map then simply uh, half of it should be completely black and then you should just make one of these tiles. So what I did was a tile of uh, a black tile of five blocks wide then a gap of five blocks then another tile of five blocks then a gap of ten blocks and then you repeat that same pattern again till you get all the way to the end of your map this doesn't have to be perfect but if you can make such a map then your piano will look way way cooler so if you can create the map then simply put item frames on top of these slabs and also put all the maps on these item frames now they are upside down so i have to rotate them and there you go you have a nice piano it looks really cool i'm really happy with the design i haven't really seen uh, such a design because i've been looking up some pianos uh, or piano designs there are a lot but honestly i like this one the most now what if you can't make one of these maps what if you're not able to make one of these kind of big maps because you're just started in your survival world and you just don't have all the uh, items for it well in that case we can do something else so we don't need those maps and item frames at all. And if you still want some kind of cool piano design, then I suggest just use white carpet. Yes, it looks a little less, but you can still make out that it is a piano and it looks still really cool. Of course, the maps are way better, but if you uh, cannot make one of these, then I suggest just using these white carpets. You can also use iron pressure plates um, that will give you these kind of tiles. Maybe it looks a little bit better from a distance, but it's entirely up to you what you use. So I suggest using these maps, but if you can't, then maybe white carpet or the iron pressure plates will be better, but that's up to you. So thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's a really small video where I teach you how to make a piano but still thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. So again if you are new here on my channel or this is maybe one of your first videos or you haven't subscribed yet then go check out my channel because I have really cool buildings like these and it helps me out a lot. Go write something down in the comments. It's always fun to see what you guys are thinking, so let me know what you think of the designs. And thank you, as always, for all the support. So, so with that, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.